Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. Today we're talking about those 4,600 FC points, no longer called FIFA points, right? As we turn into EAFC 24, a lot of us are getting these from pre-ordering the Ultimate Edition. And what's the best way to spend them? How are they going to impact the market? And what packs should you be spending them on? We're going to talk about all that in today's video. If you're excited for it, drop a thumbs up. Subscribe if you're new. Let's start from the beginning, right? When do we even get these FC points? Now, EA have said, I'm pretty sure in the pitch notes leading up to things, that we will be able to get onto the game at midnight, our local time, on September 22nd, if you pre-ordered the Ultimate Edition of the game. And as a part of that pre-order, you will get these 4,600 FP points. So, when you first load in, that's when the 4600 should be showing up in the top left or top right, whatever it is this year, of your FC points total. And that's when you can get on and use them. That is also when, if you're planning to spend more points than just those 4600, you should see whatever points you have. Like I have 1500 points from playing PS tournaments in FIFA 23 that I will carry over into the start of FC 24. I should be prompted with a message that says, Do you want to carry over your remaining? FIFA points from 23 into FC 24. It's a one-time message, so don't miss it. Click through the menu slowly when you get on console. Now, once again, the web app comes out first. I realize that we will probably not be able to get these FC points on the web app. That's not how it's gone down before. Expect to get them when you log in for the first time on console or on PC. Now, here's the answer to the question. Really, In short, do you open these FIFA points or FC points right away? Do you save them? Do you do packs? Do you do drafts? The short answer is you do packs, but I want to explain to you why and also why and when you want to do this, right? First of all, with the FC points that I'm going to have, I'm going to be opening 7.5k packs right away. And here's the math inside of things. And this is why you want to look at it this way. Because in the beginning of the game, there's no better time to open packs. I always say this. There's no better time to open packs than the very start of a brand new ultimate team. And the reason why is so many cards are selling for inflated prices on the market that they'll never sell for for the rest of the entire year. Enter a card like Klosterman from last year in FIFA 23. During the first week, he sold for six to 16,000 coins before dropping off down to 1,000 coins where he was for literally the rest of the year, right? No other time of the year does this card sell for anything more than, you know, 1,000, 2,000 coins, bar some SBC coming out that requires a card like him in it. So that's why I think the number one answer as to why you should open your points right away is you most commonly pack these sorts of players, right? Not all of us are packing the Mbappes or the Vinicius Jr. type players at the beginning. If you hit one of those, yes, you're very lucky and, and maybe you don't sell it right away and, and maybe you hold as the price goes up for that first little bit of time. But for most of us that are going to be packing these sorts of players, it's the best time to open packs, honestly, because these cards actually are worth something. So now another kind of diving into the details of why these packs are really worth opening at the beginning is if you think about it, we have 4,600 FIFA points. And what we assume is every single one of these 7.5K packs that you're going to be able to open, which will be 30, right? 4,600 divided by 150. You're going to have 100 points left over that you can use somewhere else. Um, maybe if there's another pack in the store that's 100 points, you could just open that and get them gone. But you'll be able to open 30 7.5K packs and in about 2,500 coins per pack, which is a conservative estimate, guys. 2.5k of return back from each 7.5k pack again conservative investment or um, estimate of coins back you should be making from your 4600 fifa points somewhere between 65 to about 80,000 coins right around 75k is about normal which is really good imagine starting a brand new ultimate team with 75,000 coins like that is amazing. That puts you so far ahead of so many other people that are starting the game. That's why we always say if you're going to play a lot of Ultimate Team every year, buying the Ultimate Edition with all the perks that you get and specifically this perk is so, so worth it. Now, last year, I don't remember packing anything over like 20 or 30,000 coins. I felt like my pack weight was pretty average and it boosted my coin total so freaking much after opening all of those FC points from 700 uh, or from 150 FIFA point packs, but 7.5K packs. Now we've done a video on what to keep and what to sell. If you want to check that out, that'll help answer your next questions of, okay, I've opened this pack. Now, what cards do I sell? 
and what cards do I keep from it? Because some cards you do want to hold on to. If you pack something pretty good, it can go into your team. And while it appreciates in value, you can use that card to get rewards and play games. And that's, you know, everybody likes that packing a good card, but this is the quickest way guys. And I think it is, I think it's the best way, honestly, because you get the coins really fast. Think about it. It's basically you open packs and have fun for like 20 or 30 minutes on the game to start the year off when you get those FC points right away. And then all of a sudden you have coins and you can go out and you can do other things and it's over with and it's done with. Now, the second option and area that you can use these um, FIFA points or FC points in, I'm going to say that all the time in this video, FIFA points, I'm not used to saying FC, 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 got to ingrain it into our minds, guys, FC 24, not FIFA, right? Anyways, draft, right? Draft is always a very popular spot to put these uh, FC points in as well. Now, I will say this, Draft is a viable option, but only if you're like a rank three or above weekend league player. And that's not a ton of people because that's where all of the pros and all of the people who have a lot of time to grind the game and are honestly okay with their FC points not turning into coins right away. Because think about it, right? Every single game of FIFA is like 15 to 20 minutes. And if you're playing a draft, and let's say you're going to go pretty far in the draft, whether it's online or offline, it's going to take you probably 45 minutes on average per draft. It, let's say some rounds you lose in the second round, other rounds you win all four and you go all the way through. Yes, you might get some better packs and you might even end up making more coins by going through all the drafts but it's gonna spend so much time. You're gonna spend so much time playing that draft gameplay, whereas you could be playing rivals, squad battles, or foot champs gameplay with your regular squad with the coins that you already had gotten from opening the packs if you go that route. So I would say if you're gonna do FIFA points in draft, maybe split it up. Maybe do like three or four drafts. That way you can try out new players and have some fun with that and then use the rest for FC points for packs right away. I really think that using some of your points for packs right away is so crucial to get yourself some coins off of the ground, especially so that you can go out and maybe buy some players and invest for your team. It just, it just takes too much time to play foot draft. At least that's for me. And then of course, you have the opportunity cost. If you're playing draft with those coins, those coins are technically, yes, they could you know go up in value uh, because of your draft rewards. But right away, if you open the packs, then boom, you can go straight back out to the market. And that is why I wanna talk about how the market is impacted by when people open up these uh, FC points. Now you see Klosterman on the day that the early access came out last year which was a tuesday right he was about 15k early access came out that day people got on started ripping packs his price didn't go down like that exact day he was still a pretty meta starter card that a lot of people wanted to add to their teams he went up for that next day as usually that's what happens when we get that early release date people open their packs and the market explodes look at cordoba cordoba on release day was around 300,000 coins. By the time we got to the end of that week and early next week, he was almost 400K. It really spiked up a lot of price as people were opening those packs and getting a lot of coins. Now also, that date is when we're able to get on the game for the first time. So you have people opening more FC points than just the 4,600. You have people that are loading up, you know, 12,000 or, or more, or maybe just a little bit more than the 4,600 to get themselves an even bigger head start. And if that's you, I would say open a lot of those FC points in the early stages. It's the best time, like I mentioned earlier, of the entire year to open those FC points for the coins you're going to get from it because a lot of cards are still going to appreciate for, in value from then that you potentially could pack but as you see the market usually goes up we'll take a look at mbappe or you know what let's take a look at vinnie jr as well a very popular card every single year vinnie jr goes up gets a high price of 290k kind of has a little bit of a drop for the first um promo friday as you see here there's a big drop for the promo friday of when the global release came out last year and then boom right back up to 300,000 coins almost, but that was kind of his peak price, right? This is again, another graph of even a high tier meta card where it's best to open any sort of packs in the beginning stages of the year. Now, some people might ask Nate, okay, I'm getting my FC points, but we also have a promo coming out, right? We've got the Nike Mad Ready promo that is coming out on the 22nd of September when I'll be able to log in. If I'm able to log in at midnight on the 22nd, but the promo is not until 6 p.m. UK time, on that next day, should I wait to open my FC points? And to that, I could say, yeah, for the five players that are in packs, if you pack one of those Mad Ready cards, yeah, it would definitely help you out a lot. 
you might be able to make some more coins than if you would have just packed their gold card. So everybody likes a chance at packing promo cards. So you could wait, or maybe you open like all but a thousand or fifteen hundred of your FC points that you got with the pre-order, and you save a little bit for that just to give yourself the fun off chance of packing a promo card. Even though these promo cards are kind of like a little bit less desirable, they still can give you some pretty cool rewards. Like they said, objective rewards and stuff uh, that we have to actually use these Mad Ready cards to get, which is very different from what we thought it was going to be. But um, that's another thing that you could do as well. Personally, I'm going to rip the points as fast as I can, get on the game and put those coins to work. That's my mindset. But depending on how much you're going to grind the game, how much you want to trade and how much you even care about watching the market, you kind of have to decide that for yourself. If you're like, nah, man, Nate, I think I want to save a couple of my FC points for promo packs later on in the year where maybe there's like a 500k pack that drops, uh, maybe not 500k pack, but you know, maybe like a 100k pack, the first 100k pack that comes out in the second or third week or fourth week of the game, we have a promo and you're like, ah, I've got some FC points. Let me open that pack. That's fine too. So as long as you know when like the best time for your coins is to open these FC points, I think that's the most important part about it. And then of course, I really want you guys to understand how this impacts the market as well. A lot of prices go down after the 4,600 FC points get opened, but a lot of prices go up as well, up on the high tier meta, but down on the low tier. Because again, think about it. Everybody's opening packs. It brings in a lot of supply, but also it brings in a lot of coins. And that's when you see those gold cards, those most meta versions just really start to fly on the market because people are done using Doku by that time of the year um, or that's sort of the, the early stage. They're done using a guy like Van De Ven is being, being sold out of teams and people are picking up like Varan and they're aiming to get a guy like Araujo or VVD and they're upgrading their teams. And you see the progression of squads so fast in this game nowadays. And I say it every single year, but it feels like this year, once again, that gold cards are going to become more irrelevant than ever. Think about the stats that we're seeing on these players, like some of the upgrades like um, like uh, Nkunku, right? Nkunku is an 86 rated just like last year, but instead of having 88 pace, he has 82. EA has upgraded and even downgraded some of these gold cards even more so that they leave room to upgrade them through, through promo cards throughout the year. So um, I just think that gold cards are going to drop down in price really fast this year. I know we see it on these graphs like Vinny Jr. at the beginning of October was 290K. And by the end of October, he's 190,000 coins, drops off to 100K in a month. And the next month, by the end of November, he's what? He's like 40, 50,000 coins, right? So it's probably going to happen again this year and, and maybe even faster for some cards just because there's going to be so many promos. We've got evolutions that we are still learning about and not sure about uh, on this game that uh, is going to impact things as well. So that's why I say opening those points at the beginning is the best because it's the best value for your coins at the time. And guys, I mean, hey, 2.5K per pack or around 75,000 coins for 4,600 FC points. I think, man, that's just that's hard to pass up on when you know how much those coins could be put to good use with investing, with trading, um, and even just buying cards for your team so you can go play the game and get better rewards. That's worth a lot in the early stages. So I know a lot of you guys may have some different ideas. If you think you've got something figured out that works the best for you with your FC points, drop it down below in the comments. But I wanted to bring you this guy's this, this video today because I really feel like it's important. It's a big question that everybody wants to know at the beginning of each year. And I think the answer is the same this year. Rip those packs as fast as you can. I don't feel like there is a rhyme or reason to save them unless there's one that's specific to you. And yeah, guys, go get those coins. Good luck with your pack pulls. And we'll be opening a bunch of these 4,600 FC points on stream as well. That link is down below in the description. Uh, and if you haven't subscribed to the second channel, make sure you get subscribed there before we hit it head on with a lot of new videos this year for EAFC 24. But thanks for watching the video today, guys. I do appreciate all the love on the videos recently. Um, yeah, I appreciate the love, man. It does not go unnoticed. All of you guys commenting down below, liking the videos, subscribing to the channel. I greatly, greatly appreciate it. Thank you for allowing me to do what I do. It's a blast. I love talking this game and I love trying to help us have the most successful time on Ultimate Team that we can. But again, if you enjoyed this video, drop a thumbs up on it. Subscribe if you're new. See you guys in a video tomorrow. It's been Nathan for the Count. Catch you guys there. Peace.